hello guys welcome back to my channel it's so good to have you here thank you so much for all the love you showed me on my previous video when i showed you how to color this hair now for today's video i'm basically showing you how to apply the wig and what methods i use now the first thing i use is i use the got to be clue and i apply that on the perimeter of my hairline so basically i'm just applying this on my hairline and um just on my edges basically So I'm applying so I'm applying the got to be glue on my hairline now this doesn't damage my hairline at all it just makes sure that the hair is nice and sleek and stays put it doesn't move at all as you finish laying down your edges with the got to be glue we are going to be using the stocking cap method which is what you see me doing here and basically all I'm doing is just taking the cap uh, stocking cap and just placing that on my head and pulling it down and then what I'm doing is I'm just making holes by the ear just to take out the ear and I find when I do this the cap doesn't roll up once I've put the um, the glue now guys listen i don't normally use the stocking cap method i only use it if i am planning on keeping the wig for a very long time um, in this case um, i just wanted to show you how i would normally use the stocking cap method for those of you that do know me know that i am a hopeless romantic and i just love everything to do with love <laughs> so uh for me valentine's day is a very special day well not only valentine's day but any day where anybody shows me that they love me i just love those days <laughs> so yeah <laughs> i'm going to let you watch uh, me applying the rest of the glue and i'll be back Now guys, once you finish applying the glue, you do want to leave it so that it dries clear because you do not want any white residue on your lace. So we're just going to leave that until it dries very clear. So what I'm doing now is I am going in and cutting the excess stocking cap. So the stocking cap that's in the front, I'm just cutting that off. Now you can see that there is still some bit of um, white residue on the glue, so it's not dried completely. But I did go ahead and just cut the stocking cap because I knew by the time I actually get to apply the lace, um, the wig, it would be dry. So if you have patience, unlike me, you can just leave this until um, the glue is completely dry. Then you can cut off your stocking cap. Did I not tell you that this look is the perfect look for Valentine's Day? Nana, look at this hair. Look at the color. <laughs> My goodness. Now, if you haven't seen me coloring this hair from um, blonde to uh, this fiery red, please check my previous video. I did show you how to use the watercolor method to do this. Now I'm just making sure that the wig fits nicely before I actually glue it down. To secure the wig guys, I'm going back to the ghost bond glue and I'm placing that on the wig cap just in front of my hairline. 
when applying the glue just make sure that you're applying a thin layer it is better to apply a thin layer and then go back again than rather applying a thick layer of glue and then it takes a long time to dry and then you're going to be sitting there for hours and hours on end so better apply a thin layer first and then once that dries down if you do want to go back and apply a second layer you can do so but in this case i just applied one layer and that was it So now to secure the wig, I am basically just pulling it forward and starting from the top, I am placing the wig on the glue. And I'm just going to be making sure that as I'm placing it down, I am rubbing um, the lace down. So basically just rubbing the wig down just to make sure that it is secure. Now, some people for this step, they do use a rectal comb. For me, I didn't have one. So I just used my fingers and I think I achieved the same outcome. I don't know. You let me know. So yeah, I'm just um, rubbing that in, just making sure that the wig is properly laid, honey. Now guys, I don't know what it is, but the sides, I can never get them to lay down flat. But for today, I did actually manage for the first time ever, I did manage to get them to lay down flat. So all I'm doing here is just making sure that the lace is on the glue and I am pulling and tugging it down as I am laying it down. What I did differently, in this video was i did cut down um i did cut the flap that was in front because it was a little bit longer than what you see here so i think that's why i was able to actually secure the sides properly this time ah well you have no idea how happy i was at the stage to see it actually being laid like that it is laid to the gods lovey I just love this hair i have no words to describe how much i love this hair and you know what it's been dyed over and over again it was initially black and then from black i dyed it to blonde and then from blonde to this fiery red color but it still looks healthy and full i love that <laughs> so what i'm doing here is i'm just combing this hair just to make sure that all the hair is back because i will not be leaving any baby hairs out Oh, cha! Lace is laid. Check. Face is beat. Check. Now, on to just making sure that we are just upgrading and going up a level, honey. Now, I'm just taking the mousse and I'm just going to be laying down any flyaways because we do not want those. Any flyaways that we have, you shall be laid. I know you see the black thing on my hand, but just pay it no mind. Okay, that's just eyelash glue because I was just gluing my eyelashes and I couldn't find my container so I just used my hand. Yeah.
now initially i was planning on just leaving this as a straight hair look but then when i got to this point i was like i'm sure we can do a little bit more so all i'm doing here is just putting curls and i'm curling the hair away from my face because i do want that you know that side bang that you have that looks so sexy so that's why i am curling the hair away from my face just to achieve that look so i'm going to let you watch me curl this hair and then i'll be back once that's done Yes, yes, yes. This is the final look, guys. I really hope you love it as much as I do. And thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to tell your friends, to tell their friends, Uchela Abangan Babu, to subscribe to my channel. I love you guys. I will see you on my next one. Mwah.